Rob, what is our third main topic today? John, our third main topic comes to us from Vaughn D. Wow, you guys said last week that this week would be full of DC news, and man, you weren't kidding. I'm sure you're getting lots of emails about other stuff, but I wanted to ask specifically about about the uh, movie that is actually going to get made, a new Superman movie written by James Gunn. Is this the right project for Gunn to be using his time on, and do you think he could actually direct it himself? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in. And, you know, we're going to we're gonna talk specifically about my boy Henry, uh, Henry Cavill here in the next topic. So we're going to try to, to focus this particular part of our conversation just to the movie that is, like you said, is going to get made, yes. this, this new Superman film. Yeah, so this whole thing, all these dominoes started with the announcement that came out, I believe it was The Hollywood Reporter, that James Gunn is personally going to write a new Superman film that is going to focus on a younger Superman um, and that he's going to, there could be a possibility he directs himself. This does come for us from the Hollywood reporter who wrote the following. James Gunn is making his first big move at DC and will pen a Superman movie. The project will focus on the younger years of the hero at his, uh, at this stage, Gunn is merely writing the script though he could potentially direct, depending on where his services are needed at DC Studios, according to insiders. Though this Superman will be on the younger side, he will not be living in Smallville, but rather will be at the Daily Planet, a reporter as reporter Clark Kent, according to insiders. And that again comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter. Okay, a couple of interesting things here. Uh, a few people on Twitter said, man, are we going to get another Superman origin story? And James Gunn said, no. Yeah, he flat out said it. Flat out said, no. not a new origin story, right? Like, everybody knows Superman's origin story, whether you watch Smallville or Man of Steel or whatever other incarnation has uh, been out there, everybody knows the origin story. They might reference it, but, and I like the fact that, because I'll admit, Rob, I got a little bit nervous when I heard a younger Clark Kent. I'm like, oh, no. All right, is this going to be a CW Superman? Uh, no, no, meaning no disrespect to the Lois and Clark Superman that's out there right now, but, or the Superman and Lois one out there. But I mean, I don't want to, I don't want a teen drama angst Superman thing. No, this is going to be a Superman younger. He's already Clark Kent. He's already at the daily planet. This is going to be a little bit earlier in his career, maybe a little bit reminiscent of Matt Reeves's Batman, a little bit earlier in his career, that sort of thing. And here's the key. I think this makes a lot of sense because they've always said, David Zaslav said this a while ago, we're not just trying to put together a plan. We're trying to put together an eight to 10 year plan. And if you're putting together an eight to 10 year plan, that means you want to be able to make movies with these characters you're doing right now, at least for the next decade. And so with that in mind, the idea of, okay, you know what, let's start, let's truly build this universe and let's build it with some of these key characters being in their formative years of being the heroes that they are. And I think that's really important to them that they give themselves that flexibility to, to grow and build this universe properly from an earlier stage. So they have a clear roadmap ahead of them in ways that they can go. Now, does James Gunn direct this a couple of things to keep in mind. Just a few days ago, we talked about that James Gunn put out a statement before all these announcements came out that said, Superman is the top priority, which I was like, damn right, James, damn fucking right. Superman is your priority. So they, and then he announced that Superman is the building block. He's, he's the cornerstone. Like you, you build around Superman. And so we talked the other day, Rob, about the fact that in television, you get your biggest, most prominent and important director to come in and do the pilot because that sets the tone for the entire series. And so what this tells me is that I believe this is going to be the first film. I think a Superman film is going to be the first. Now, they didn't say this officially. I might be wrong. I'm just speculating as a fan on this. But it seems to me like Superman will be the first film. And with this first film, they're going to set the tone for what this new DCEU is. And because of that, I do think, even though they're not officially saying it, I do think James will direct it. I think you and I both agreed that their first project, whether it was a Justice League film or something else, that James Gunn will probably be the one to direct that one. I think they will end up making it him. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be Ben Affleck. Who knows? But I listen, we'll get into the Henry Cavill part of this in a minute. 
but they have been tasked with the job, Rob, of not doing a patch job on a broken down shitty car, which is what the status of the DCU has been. It has been a broke down car that has never lived up to its potential and just trying to slap some crazy glue on it is not going to magically make it better and get it to where they want to go. They want the DCU to be a franchise that can live up to its full potential. And its full potential isn't just as good or as successful as Marvel, but exceeds it. That's what their potential is. And to do that, you got to start over. And I think starting with a younger Superman, younger Batman, get rolling from there, build these characters out over 10 Listen, no one wants to hear this but it's the right move. This is the right move. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. This holiday season, the best deal in wireless can only be found at Mint Mobile. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three month plan, you get another three months for free. Mint Mobile lets you order and activate from home with eSIM while saving tons on phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know I've been using Mint Mobile long before this holiday deal and I have to say it is the perfect time to switch. I have absolutely loved using Mint Mobile and like I've told you guys many times, I am now spending less than one third of what I used to spend under one of the other major mobile carriers. And now with the whole buy three months, get three months free deal, it's even better. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily and effortlessly with eSIM. Or if you need a new device, for a limited time, get six months of free service when you buy a select device and plan. So guys, for a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months for free by going to mintmobile.com campia. That's Mint Mobile mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. And we'll get into the Henry Cavill part of it in a bit, but Rob, you hear this, James Gunn writing a new Superman film, a little bit younger on that stage. What do you t- take away from that? Well, we've been, uh, we've been saying that, you know, and, and I, I totally agree with that. And I think, look, I've got no insight into this, but why wouldn't James Gunn direct this? He writes and directs his own movies. I think him and Peter Safran, who've had a working relationship, they've known each other for over 20 years now. It's the perfect thing for the two of them to collaborate on because what's really interesting is they're the ones that launch. You talked about doing a pilot. This movie is the pilot for whatever the new DC universe is. And with Peter Safran producing and James Gunn directing, writing and directing, you have an auteurist vision and you have a producer that was hired to do just this. And they're going to put forth their movie and they're going to be like, here's what we want. And then what's interesting about that is the pressure is on them to do this first thing. You think they're going to delegate it to other people? I don't think so. I think they're going to say, here's, our, here's what we're doing. We're the heads of the studio. Here's your Superman. And then they're going to put in place what's going to follow it. Like, this is not going to be like, we're not going to wait two or three more years for another movie. They're not going to put out Superman in 2025 and then wait they're gonna. I would ima- I would imagine that they're gonna announce actual introductory films. So Ben Affleck's gonna do the first movie. I would. I mean, uh, uh, they're gonna do the first Superman movie. Ben Affleck's gonna follow up with a Batman movie. Then they're gonna have another movie ready to go that's locked and loaded. That I would say is either gonna be Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, or Aquaman. Probably not Aquaman because Aquaman's gonna be the last movie of this old regime. Once Aquaman comes out. But they're going to be locked and loaded for bear. They're going to announce this slate is going to be announced and they're going to be ready to go. By the way, I think this slate is getting announced within the week. I, I, I don't. Because James Gunn said in his Twitter, he goes, we have some big announcements coming up. I thought he said after the first of the year. Did he say after the first of the year? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Because you you might be right, but I think it's, I think it's soon. No, they're going to come out. These people are going to come out. This is not some namby pamby. This is not what Zaslav wants. This is going to be a big, big move and it's going to be uh, i would imagine it's james gunn it's going to be ben affleck they're going to have a couple more filmmakers doing stuff i wouldn't be surprised if chris mccory is announced as being one of the writer directors coming on the heels i don't know what that is but coming on the heels of mission impossible 8 you know dead reckoning part 2 i know he wants to go do more stuff with with tom cruise but even then but yeah man go do a superhero movie dc cool i'm gonna go be, go to space <laughs> you write that. I got to go with Doug Lyman to space. So, so I, I would imagine that they're going to line up probably five filmmakers 
that we're all going to go, oh my God. And the thing is, these movies are not going to be $200 million movies. They're going to be $135, $145 million movies. They're going to make these movies for a price and show that it can be done. You know, there's something interesting you brought up there was the the probably the pressure for them to do the first one themselves because we have seen franchises that got off to a bad start that instantly killed the franchise. We we go back to the old Aragon. Remember the Dragon movie, John Malkovich? Hell, the Mummy. Was it? That was the one I was going to bring up next. Oh. Was right the Mummy. They had this plan. They put out these big pictures of all these actors, Javier Bardem and Russell Crowe and Johnny Depp and Tom Cruise and Sofia Botello all stand there. Oh, we're going to do this dark universe. The problem was they put out the first movie. By the way, I didn't think the first Mummy movie was completely awful. No. I thought it had some redeeming qualities, but still, it's a movie that fell on its face and all of a sudden, all these grand plans were gone. The pressure is on because what whether the first movie is superman or not which i it it looks like it will be but even if it isn't whatever that first movie is you damn well better make sure it doesn't have to win the academy award but you damn well better make sure that you knock it out of the park because we've seen what happens with franchises that fall on their face coming out well, of the well and i also think you know with james gunn tweeting about the 44th anniversary of or of of superman the movie you know, one of the things about Superman, everyone's like, oh, is it going to be like, is he going to make it like Suicide Squad or Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't think so. I think James Gunn is a classicist and he's going to look back and meaning he's into the, he's, he's cla into, into classics. And the reason he brought up Donner's Superman is because you, you, you meet Superman going to Metropolis for the first time, establishing his career. But I think what James Gunn is going to do is going to make it more, imagine a younger version, version of George Reeves from the Adventures of Superman from the 50s, who's a badass, a really capable guy that is going to be a great reporter. Because Clark Kent himself is a great reporter. He's not just, he's not going to be the Nebuchadnezzar Clark. He's going to be the George Reeves. He's going to be a young cub go get a reporter, but he's going to be really good at his job. And he's going to be a badass in both in his life and in his superhero life. All right, guys. The question is for you again. This is something we could talk about all day. What do you think about this? James Gunn, the new co CEO and chairman of the new, brand new DC Studios has announced he's going to be writing that first Superman himself. I will not be, actually, I will be surprised if he doesn't also end up directing it, but we'll we'll find out yeah. as we move forward. How do you guys feel about this? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down into the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.